Čau svima, ja sam Facundo Campaso. Please, be my guest. I don't know if it's really affecting us, but uh, we're kind of tired of practices and, and waiting. Uh, for so long, we, we were usually uh, practicing, uh, we were usually playing so many games during the season, and now waiting for almost, I don't know, 20, 25 days until we play the next game. I think it's, uh, we, are, we are out of rhythm. So we need to play on, on, on practice a little bit more. Off court or on court? Both. I mean, we practice more. We have more training, we have more practice. Uh, we are now having like game rhythm, so we try to spend, to, to try, uh, take advantage of that free day with more game practice. And off the court, just to spend time with my family. The good weather, the good weather is, is right now is, is great. Uh, so I try to take a walk with, with my family and enjoy some restaurants. So is it some, something in Serbia? Not me. What about you? Uh, <laughs> I did. I don't remember the names actually. I went to some waterfalls. I went to some mountain. Uh, I went to this tower. Uh, I don't remember the names, uh, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I'm, in, I'm really enjoying. Um, I don't agree with Fago that the weather is fine, <laughs> because after one hour we have rain every time. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty nice actually in the, in the morning. But yeah, we're enjoying off the court. Uh, it's been really exciting. Playoff, you know, uh, everyone can win this series. They have really hard uh, home games like Partizan here and Olympia there. Uh, so I think the, the 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 best team who play better is gonna is gonna be the one who gonna take the playoff. So it's gonna be excited to watch that. Uh, I think it was tough uh, after that fight, uh, I think everything changed, uh, I think, uh, but at the end, uh, I think Madrid did a great job. Madrid had this, he had, they had Tavares and he was uh, controlling and defense enough and he was the main guy in this series and I think Partizan couldn't handle him and of course, uh, well, uh, Hesonia, Chacho at the end, they were playing great, but I think the main guy was Tavares. And at the end, they won the Euroleague, so it wasn't a casualty that they, they won the, the series. Uh, it was a great series to watch. Uh, I think Partizan plays high level, uh, almost the whole series. And Real Madrid have, like, like he said, like Tavares, who was the, the main players in the series, and also got something else, it was like experience. Some player with a lot of uh, this kind of game, you know, with a lot of important games. So uh, at the end, they play really. Real Madrid played really well in the series after the fight. I think they play really, really tough. They start playing in a, a zone, you know, and, and Partizan couldn't find any solution of that. Uh, and after that series, I mean, they they have nothing to lose and. Um, just have experienced players to play this kind of game. Uh, I think they're back in shape after a Euroleague loss uh, like they had. Uh, I think it's, it was a great hit for them. So it's hard to recover. Uh, now I think they're, they're coming back. Uh, they're having a uh, good rhythm. Uh, they're playing great. Uh, I know, uh, well, we know that they lost the, the last game in Sedevita, but uh, at home, I think they have the, the energy that uh, that team needs, and I think they're they're back. One of the biggest, <laughs> uh, I mean, playing those kind of games, even in Italy and also Avali, uh, more Avali is like more savage, you know, more wild. 
uh, but it's crazy to play in, the, in that environment. Also with our fans, with their fans, uh, I, I enjoy a lot playing those games because they put you like 100%. You have to be uh, very focused, uh, you have to be very, I don't know, uh, with aggressivity, play those games with aggressivity, you know, so it's, I enjoy a lot playing those games. We already know, right? Uh, we let us hit a uh, three-point shot. Uh, that was a great game. Uh, they were up the entire game, and at the end, uh, we end up winning it with a net of shot, and I think for me, that's uh, the best game of the of the season. I wasn't there. I watched it in TV, but I don't know. Uh, I will pick the Serbian Cup, you know, in, in what, 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 Niche. Niche. In Niche, uh, because it was my first uh, derby, you know, against them, 50-50 with the fans, it was a great environment, and I will pick that one also because we won that game and, and take the trophy. That part. <laughs> you can sing it for us? Yeah, but I don't I know that part. So, I did. I did. Ne, 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 ne. I, just that. Sorry about that. Yeah, my Serbian is, is not my. It's not my. Right. <laughs> I mean, every game after, they wait for us, you know, for every player and support us, show their love to us. I think it's very nice to, from them to see that kind of love. I, I, I think the, the only way we can give them back that love is just try to give our 100% in every game. It's a huge, it was a huge game. More now than back in 2019 uh, because I think nobody expects we can beat teams like Serbia or France, uh, or nobody expects about playing in that level. And thinking, thinking now about that game, it was something huge for us, for that group. We we really training really hard during the the, the preseason, you know, during the summer. We 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 really training hard and. When we were there in the game, when the game started, we already know every everyone, every player in that in that team were in the same page, and we you could see in, in the eyes, you know. So we, we remember that game with a lot of happiness. It wasn't our fault. <laughs> we were doing like we do here, uh, but yeah. Uh, we remember those kind of games. Uh, we, we went to the final of the World Cup, and for Argentina it was huge. Uh, but I think Facu, that, that tournament, uh, Luis Escola, Deck, they did a great job. They they lead us uh, to that way, and everybody was following them. So that victory against uh, Serbia, it was huge. Uh, the entire country it was behind us and then we beat friends. I think that was, that was really huge. Uh, so as Paco said, we, we remind, we remember that, that game with a lot of happiness uh, instead. Uh, I'm sorry for sharing. <laughs> It was nice. It's, it's nice. I remember the first game against Bayer here, and people went crazy uh, in the warm up, and you were. I was feeling that hype, and after we we won, it was it was crazy. We were celebrating with the fans in that in that corner and, uh, and feeling that love, feeling that that passion they had. It, it's like contagious, and they motivate you to to keep working and, and keep coming here and give your 100%. And now. 
uh, seeing how they were supporting us uh, for the entire season, even when we were already out of the Euro League, that was that was that was huge for us too. So I feel grateful to to be here and, and enjoy with them. Uh, I pick basketball because all my friends from the neighborhood were playing basketball, so just for them. I just have fun with them. Uh, we didn't take like really seriously, just to have fun and spend energy. My mom sent me to that club to spend energy, so I did basketball, so uh, football, every sport in that club I did it, and I picked just basketball because of my friend and enjoy playing with them and beat the best team in, in my city. So I, I pick basketball because of that. Uh, my dad we used to play basketball, my mom, uh, my uncle, my cousin. So uh, I wouldn't be the one that chose soccer overall. So that's why I, I chose basketball. He played more than me, so he's gonna talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like you say, I think it's the best league in, in the world uh, because when even you are not playing, you keep improving uh, by yourself because you have to go and practice more than the players who are really playing important minutes. Uh, every time, every uh, training, every practice, everything is thinking about the player to think about the get better in the in the practice. So if you want to uh, go to the weight room, you have three guys uh, there who can help you. If you want to shoot, the right in the moment you step in the floor, you have three guys who can pass you the ball. You know, it's it's, it's way different, and, and I enjoy a lot. And I enjoy a lot when I was playing a lot as well, uh, a lot of minutes. Uh, it's, it's great. It's very hard. It's really hard. It's a different basketball than here. It's different rules. The, the court is, is, is bigger. Uh, I think everyone want to go there and try. And I think we, we could say we try and we did our best. Or not, but we, we try. And I think I, I enjoy a lot. I, I didn't, I, I didn't uh, realize when I was there. I think now I'm not there. I, I, I can say it was a great time there. I didn't play much, so. <laughs> <laughs> but as Paco said, uh, even when you're not playing, uh, you're improving yourself. Uh, uh, and that's it. That's what makes the, the NBA the best league of the world. It's not about only stars, it's about everyone there. Everyone is trying to improve, everybody's trying to make you feel better and that's what I miss. Uh, it's different. Uh, I mean, we we were playing FIBA basketball from from when we were kids. So, and NBA just a couple of years. Uh, so we are used to playing FIBA. It's different. I took that challenge it took that, it, those, those years, uh, as a challenge for me. Uh, I know I'm not going to have the ball like in FIBA. I'm not going to play too many pick and roll like I used to. Just try to improve another thing in my games, like move without the ball. I try to be better in sport of shoot, in sport of shots. So it, for me, it was a big challenge. And I, I can't pick one. Uh, I just try to give my my best in the NBA, and now I just try to keep improving as a player in, in FIBA. You know. Yeah, I mean you have to be ready every time you uh, have the ball because even if you don't see the pass, he 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 see that and he gonna pass it. And you gotta be ready because if you are not gonna make that three-point shot, somebody else from the bench is gonna gonna do it. So I just try to improve that. Like be ready for that shot, be ready for move without the ball and wait for that pass. And I learn a lot from him. He make everyone better after you training with them with him or have a game with him. 
uh, you you were a better player, you know, after playing with him. Uh, I would have loved to have he, have him here. Uh, uh, he left uh, very soon. Uh, I was practicing with him for uh, I think two months, and then he left. And when he was here, he was he was tough. Uh, he he's not that kid like uh, feel like uh, ashamed or he's shy. Uh, no, he was taking his shot. The way the, the way he played with his teammates uh, right now, uh, he was showing here, and that's that uh, you cannot work for it. You you born with it. So. I think he, that kid is special and uh, he can be a, 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 I mean, of course, he, he can play your league easily. Same, same thing. Uh, usually when a young player come into a EuroLeague team, it's like you can see the level, but it wasn't that, ex it wasn't that example like, like with Topic. Uh, he came in and w I, wasn't play I wasn't training too much with him because as soon as I got here, he, he left. But the time we were together, uh, he was killing. It was very hard to, to guard him. Uh, he played with a lot of confidence, and, and I, I enjoy, we, I think we enjoy playing with him. Nah, I like him. <laughs> but for now, our team? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was a Faku. <laughs> now you can see. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would say Neto. Why Neto? Uh, he's a great scorer. Uh, when he wants, he can play defense. And I think we, we had this connection in, in court. Uh, when to, I know when to give him the ball. I know uh, he knows when to pass it. Uh, so I, I enjoy playing with him. I was thinking. Uh, I mean. I would say Pefi, Markovic, or Lazarovic. I like those those kind of players who give everything and don't ask for nothing. Just try to give his life in every game and try to do the right thing in the right moment. Play defense, uh, guard the best player. I don't know. I would say one of those. I would be Argentina. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I, I'm really home guy. I, I love be with my family, uh, do some barbecues in Argentina with my friends. I just try to be in my home, you know. But Ser Ser uh, Belgrade is crazy city, uh, and the people from Serbia is similar to Argentina, you know, the personality and and that. So, but I would say Argentina for sure. <laughs> Yeah, me too. I, I mean, I would love to be here, but I would love to understand uh, the language. That's, uh, if I would understand the language, I would be here. Uh, but no, I would say Argentina. I mean, I have my friends, I got my family there, and I, I just enjoy with them. See, at the end, you, you don't remember the results, if we were losing or winning, you remember those kind of, kind of thing, like having a team barbecue. I don't remember, I actually don't remember, to be honest, uh, how we were in, in, in that time, like if we were losing or going through a bad games. I just remember we have a great time, uh, spend time with the, the team, with the families, with their wife, the kids, my daughter playing with their, uh, everybody, daughters and kids, you know? So I, I just remember that, and it's a kind of thing like Argentina were used to, you know, to spend time together, uh, do this uh, barbecues on dinner or lunch or whatever, and, and spend, I think you create that team unit doing that. Yeah. Yeah, I think he helped me a lot. Uh, I don't know about now, but when he first came, when I was in Basconia, I think it, that personality that he shows, that he transmits, uh, I think that, that makes you work even harder and play even harder. Uh, and when you work hard in practice, 
at the, at the end you end up improving and he helped me a lot. Um, and now we have a good connection, I mean. Me? Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, I just, uh, it's my first like five months with him, but he's a leader, you know. He prepared every game as a final, and that's very important for a player because he don't make you like you relax and play every game in the same way, with the same mentality. And I think that improve you as a team. Uh, and when the important game comes, you, you are ready. You know, you're ready because you were playing this kind of game with the same mentality during the season. So when the important game come, like a semi-final playoff or, or a or final, you you are you are ready for for playing those games. You can say ciao. Ciao. I forgot it. Enjoy, enjoy. Hvala što ste gledali. Hvala, hvala. Hvala što ste gledali. Što ste gledali? Hvala. Hvala je fasi. That's it? Ne. Šete s portal. I will do it. That's even worse. Hvala, vidimo se.